Today we're going to learn how to add in your graphics into your inventory tracking system. So go ahead and head over to your Google Drive folder, click on your personal inventory tracker. Once that loads up, go on and head over to the back end inventory graphics spreadsheet by either swipe, sliding down on this little bar or go ahead and hit the stack icon. Once you're over there, you want to go ahead and enter in the total quantity of each graphic you have in this corresponding row. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here to 75%. Okay, so if you have the hashtag best year ever graphic and you have two of those, go ahead and hit in, just enter in two. If you have uh, one of the double digits graphic, go ahead and one. And you want to do this for every single graphic that you have in your um, personal inventory. This makes it a lot more easier. So now you don't have to go over and actually copy over this image address by flipping back and forth to the graphics in the shop website um, so if you want to go ahead and find a graphic and don't want to like scroll through it like this go ahead and hit the shortcut command F and say you want to find in the uh, let's just say an elephant we'll just type in elephant here okay so we get three results so we have the animals that pulled up the baby elephants the blue baby elephant pink and a safari it looks like down here elephant so whichever one corresponding to, just go ahead and enter in the quantity. Say we have two of the baby elephants blue. All right. So once that is done, you could click this exit right here, X right here. Get that out of the way. Go ahead and head to your add orders. And now what you want to do is head to your drop down list. And so when you head to your drop down list, now when you go ahead and select that, it's going to show the graphics that you have. Uh, a quantity for. For example, since we did add two best year evers, we add one uh, double digits, and then also the elephants as well, it does pull up the graphics that you have in your inventory. Now, not to get confused, these graphics right here, if you select them, that doesn't mean that they're 100% available and not being used for another order. Remember, we're always going to use that um, check graphics button in your inventory charts to make sure your graphics are available. The drop down menu just denotes that this is a graphic that you have in your inventory or that you've bought and it hasn't been stolen. So once you head back over to graphics, um, you go ahead and just enter that in all for the graphics you have. However, we this is, I'm currently in the month of July right now, and all the Christmas graphics are not on the shop website because they are seasonal. So all these Christmas ordinance, uh, as well as the fall graphics, they don't have that image address link. So when the Christmas graphics do come up, say you're watching this in the wintertime, go ahead and you want to go to the corresponding row. For example, we're kind of just looking at Christmas ornaments in the blue color. You want to head over to the graphics website, click on that ornament. Let's say this is the ornament or the or ornament. Um, excuse me, and then right click on here and do copy image address, and then you just want to go into the corresponding row and go ahead and paste it into there. And that will go ahead and now pull up the picture once you select this ornament in the add orders. Okay, so you might be asking, what if I hit Command F and I look for a graphic? Uh, for example, it looks like the Minecraft graphic is new, the sword, and I hit Minecraft. And you don't get, oh, I didn't even spell that right, whoops. But anyways, we get zero out of zero results, um, which this means that in this graphics spreadsheet, I entered or added all these in here before the Minecraft graphic came out. So if you did buy that Minecraft graphic, you want to go ahead and head all the way to the bottom of the list. Go ahead and type in whatever graphic you just bought that's not available in this list. Go ahead and name it. So for example, we're just focusing on the Minecraft one. Uh, we, we just bought one of those and they are, it looks like on the website, they're 16 bucks. So 16 bucks. And then you want to go ahead and click on and save the image address by going to the image looking like this and click copy image address and you want to go ahead and paste it into this cell. Okay, so now that we did this correctly, you could verify that by just going into your add orders. Now when you hit the graph the drop down menu, it will show that you do have the Minecraft sword. 
So now when we select this, it'll pull up the image address link in here, and then it's going to pull up that image of that Minecraft sword. Wonderful. Okay. So now if you want to um, organize it in alphabetical order, I believe I talked about that in another video, but let me just make it uh, simple here as well again. You want to go ahead and drag from the very top of here all the way to the right of where it says graphics use and then hold and go all the way down right there might take a while to go all the way down here let's see if I can speed it up okay and as you can see me going through here some of these uh, image addresses aren't present that's because they're seasonal um, so they weren't available in the um, graphics in the shop website. So now you want to go ahead and hit right click, sort range, column A, because column A is what has the names in it and you want those to be organized. And you want to go ahead and hit A through Z and then sort. I'm not going to do that right now because I'm going to have to go back and delete the Minecraft. But that's the gist. If you get a new graphic that is not in this list already, that's how you add it. Um, as well, if you might see this new spreadsheet as well right here. So this is basically uh, tailoring in that whenever you enter a quantity that is greater than zero for a graphic in the spreadsheet, it'll go ahead and generate this graphic drop-down list with its corresponding image address. And that will make sure that it's easy for you to add your orders in um, and only being able to add orders with graphics that you have purchased in the past. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Um, feel free to email me, call me, or text me. And I appreciate you watching this video. Thank you.